Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to show you how you can validate your online business idea in just under seven days, okay? Because, uh, you know, a lot of entrepreneurs, especially new ones, make this mistake of not validating their ideas before they launch anything and they spend a lot of money and time building out software, building out their product, their packaging, blah, 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 blah. And at the end of the day, they realize that when everything is ready, nobody really wants or needs their product or service. And that's the number one mistake that you want to avoid. And that, you know, I've learned it the hard way in the last time I invested a lot of money in a t-shirt company and we did not validate the designs before going on and printing, you know, hundreds of pieces. And that has cost us a lot of money. So, you know, speaking from experience, I don't want, I, I want to help you guys and, um, you know, you know, over the past eight years of running online businesses, uh, I've discovered that there are, there's actually a framework where you can minimize your risk while still being able to launch in a very, very short period of time. And that's what you want to be doing. Uh, every business I launch, this is the framework that I follow. So the first thing, you know, is when, when it comes to launching a business, the first thing is always you want to be validating the demand if there are people already looking for your product and the amount of people who are looking for a product. So let me give you an example. If you were to open a restaurant or an ice cream shop, for example, you would first go to the mall uh, where you intend to open your, your shop or like a shopping street, correct? And what you would do then is that you would look at the food traffic, how many people are actually passing by this area. How many children are there, you know, who, who enjoys eating ice cream, uh, for example? These are the observations that you want to make, especially if you're opening an ice cream shop. So the same thing applies for online businesses, but a lot of people skip this step because they just don't know how to validate their idea online. So let me just show you um, a few tools that I use to, you know, validate um, demand, existing demand that's already around in the market, right? So I'm just gonna share my screen here very quickly. Uh, okay, I'm gonna share my Google Chrome. So the first tool that you want to be using is uh, Google Trends. It's very powerful. Um, so for example, if I wanted to launch a Keto meal delivery service, just for example, I would put in keto meal prep maybe, right? And um, it depends which market you're in. So instead of United States, I, I might be putting Singapore, for example. So as you can see, you know, might not be that big, but let's go. Um, one level higher instead of keto meal prep. Let's look at keto first. And then let's bring it back, say past five years, just to see the longevity of your business. So as you can see here, keto is booming uh, in Singapore. There is a slight dip for some reason towards the end of the year, but then it has quickly gone back up. So you, you can see that there is a market or audience of people who are interested in keto in Singapore, right? But you you most likely want to take it, uh, you know, the next step, even though you've already validated, okay, there are people who wants to go keto in Singapore, who's, who's interested in going keto in Singapore. Um, so personally, I use this tool called KeywordTool.io to further validate the demand. Um, and also to discover certain high search volume keywords, right? So as you can see, keto, you know, 3,600 people searches for this keyword. Um, keto diet, 18,000, which is insane. Keto diet meal plan, meal plan sorry, uh, 5,400 search volume. So there's definitely a demand here already, right? Um, yeah, 
And another tool, you know, that you know you might want to check out is Avrefs.com. It's also another keyword tool. But you know, these two softwares are are paid softwares. Google Trend is free. So, but there's another free alternative that you guys might want to check out. It's Neil Patel's Uber Suggest. Um, lots of promo messages. So let's see Singapore again. So this is the free version. I just want to give you a spin around because I'm pretty sure you guys don't want to spend money on keyboard tool, especially when you're just uh, starting out. Um, so Keto. And you'll be able to see keyword ideas as well and to see how many people actually search for such a thing online. So once you've done this, you know, you've, you know, there is demand, there are people searching for keto in this, in this example. Um, it's very, it's more reassuring for now, right? But that's not enough. You don't want to just stop here. What you want to do is you want to go and actually Google for those keywords and look at what, what is showing up? What are the, what are the companies that are showing up in Singapore? Right? And so, you know, just get a competitive landscape on um, who, who is in this space? Who are you competing against? What are they doing? And then from this, you need to take learnings and create your own offer, right? And the best way to do that um, is to actually create an offer. And you can always start off by creating a very simple landing page website. So by the way, this is a site that I've built over the past three days and it only took three days for me to come up with something like this. You know, it's not, it's not perfect yet. Uh, it's not, it's not complete, but um, it basically lets me test out my offer. I don't have a central kitchen set up, you know, don't get me wrong. And the idea of launching very, very quickly is not to make money very, very quickly. That's not what you want to have in mind. In the validation stage, all you want to do is to make sure if, just say, you know, if, if you launched this website, would people buy it? That's the only question that, I, that you should be looking to answer in the beginning. And if yes, if that, the answer is yes, how much? What kind of offer would people respond better to? Um, and, you know, I don't have a central kitchen yet. And my intention is, you know, if I, if I were to launch this, the moment I get my first order, I will scramble to like a, a grocery store or something um, and make sure, you know, I, I, I develop like a, a keto recipe from online or whatever just to get the business off the ground. And this, all this can be done in less than seven days, to be honest. Um, all you need is a website like this, which is very, very easy to do. You know, if you're not a develop, developer, it might sound like, oh, oh my God, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to spend like a few thousand uh, dollars just to develop a website like this. No, there are a ton of tools out there that can very, very easily help you set something like this up. All you need is a website as well as a landing page. Oh uh, no, I'm sorry. As well, as well as a payment gateway, like, you know, for example, you know, once you click on a button, it goes straight to an order page. And what this does is it's very powerful. Number one, you keep your costs extremely low when you launch, right? Which is good for every business. Number two, um, you, get to sell right away if you want to. You know, it can be a pre-order, it can be a, you know, a delayed delivery, or it can be a pre-launch. You just have to position it and just make sure you don't over-promise your customers. Make sure that if you make a sale, you can deliver because if not, people won't trust you, right? And we don't want that as business owners. So now that you have the plat, now that you know that there is a demand, number two, you already have a platform to launch. Number three is the marketing channel. Where are these people hanging out, right? So in this case, we already know that a lot of them, a lot of the, the keto people like to go on Google and search for something um, keto related, right? So Google might be in Super Meals case, in this case study, it 
might be worth it to look into Google uh, AdWords or not SEO, you know, SEO is just going to take too much time, but you want to launch fast. So to launch fast, there are a few ways that you can do it. Google, Facebook, Instagram, and I'm talking about ads, okay, because you want to buy your way in ASAP in the beginning. And it's best um, to also gauge your competition. As you can see, if I were to launch Super Meal in Malaysia, the CPC is, the cost per click on Google is 20 cents US dollars. In Quito, it's 12 cents, 10 cents. Rather cheap considering how much my product costs, right? So looking at this, I would want to launch Super Meal on Google, on Google Ads. And you know, it, it might seem a bit daunting to, to spend this kind of money even though you've made no revenue yet. But you know, setting up a website like this it will cost you at most four to five hundred dollars. You can get it then even less if you know a bit more about web development. And I'm going to show you how to do that in my future videos. But you know, um, in this case, I just want to focus on the whole process of validating your idea. Uh, so what I would do is I would just take this page and put it onto AdWords and across all of the keto keywords and see how many percent of people are actually converting after clicking on the ad. For example, I want a target to have 200 users to come to this page, right? Who are already interested in Keto. Because if you're searching for Keto on Google, you'll most likely be already interested in Keto, right? So out of that 200 people, how many of these people actually bought? And that's the main thing that I want to track here. So if I, and this will vary depending on your, the price of your product and how much it costs to bring a person in. But as long as I can validate, I can break even. Like for example, if I spend a hundred dollars to get an order of $300 um, or $200 and you break even at a price point, this project is a goal and your idea has already been validated. And then now that you know that the product or service that you're launching has the demand and it, your offer converts well, the next thing you want to do is, of course, you know, you will already have the confidence to develop the supply chain, you know, create a central kitchen in this case, um, and, and you know, investing more on systems to automatically process orders. Uh, and you know, look for suppliers to get bulk orders in to drive costs down. So guys, um, I hope that this guide, so to speak, has been useful in a sense where you know, it, it teaches you how to launch your business very, very quickly at a very, very minimal cost, just for the sake of learning. So this, at this stage, you're not looking to make a profit. You're looking to find out if someone is there are people who are look who are open to buying your offer and that's the main thing that you want to nail down before you invest in a lot more expensive processes uh, that are that is otherwise unnecessary in this first stage so guys uh, that's the end of this video and uh, this is actually my first video on YouTube and uh, I, I hope that you like it um, and if you like it, you know, you want to see more videos like this, please hit the thumbs up button and also hit subscribe because there will be more tips like this. And I will go deeper into the process on how to build, how to get a website like this up really quickly, how to get a test campaign, a launch campaign out very, very quickly and very, very cheaply. Okay. So yeah, that's the end of this uh, video and I hope you like it and I hope to see you in my next video, okay? Bye guys.